Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this week of uh, weekly talks, I'm going to talk on a very common topic uh, that uh, most of you might know these steps, but I still get a lot of questions regarding this topic every week, a, a dozen of them. Uh, so I thought of uh, making a video on this and this is about uh, uh, simple battery uh, what do you say care and tips that you should take and most of them will revolve around the smartphone but some of the things that I'm going to talk also relate to uh, laptops uh, so let's uh, go over it and by the way I'm recording this video with the OnePlus 3's front-facing camera but for audio I'm using this uh, Rode Lapel mic uh, because I know in outdoor conditions like this it's very windy uh, the audio pickup uh, the internal microphone of the OnePlus 3 is not that great so let me mount this over the tripod so let's continue and these days uh, most of the smartphones actually come with lithium ion or lithium polymer batteries uh, so i won't get into details about the chemistry and stuff like that uh, but there is a lot of uh, myth that uh, and i get this question a lot uh, should if we get a new smartphone or a new gadget or something like that should we charge it overnight like for nine or ten hours i get this question a lot and the fact is that you don't have to do it uh, yes you have to do it with earlier older devices that use the nickel uh, cadmium battery uh, for that you have to do it but with the new devices that come with lithium ion and lithium polymer and almost all smartphones use that so you don't have to do that uh, i would suggest that when you get a new smartphone uh, just when you get it just charge it fully till 100% uh, that should be charged within about one and a half or two hours based on your smartphone and just start using it normally I would say and initially first you get the new smartphone or any new gadget the battery life uh, will not be that great it takes a couple of cycles generally between four or five cycles to the for the battery to get prime and after that you start getting decent battery life and one mistake that I uh, noticed that many people do is that they try to actually drain the battery completely on their mobile phones or even laptops and stuff like that never do that it is really really bad for the battery uh, especially lithium and lithium polymer batteries they don't like to be discharged completely ideally I would say uh, if you can actually uh, don't allow the battery to fall below 20% that will be the best option I would say uh, think of this like jogging okay yeah you can uh, uh, run really fast like a marathon but again if you do that every day that puts a lot of strain on you this is a similar case with lithium-ion batteries I would say uh, ideally charge it uh, uh, before it falls below 20 percent and that should give you a better uh, battery uh, i've noticed some of people that completely drain the battery uh, yes you can do that sometimes if you are outside you need to use the phone but generally don't drain the battery completely and charge uh, next thing is that uh, also I get this question a lot uh, with lithium ion batteries it's perfectly safe and ideal actually to do small top ups what I mean by that let's say your ba battery is now at about uh, 50 or 60 percent yes you can easily plug into a charger and top it up that's actually uh, really great because these days many times we sit in the office and stuff doing working and just plug in your phone and charge it uh, so top-ups are actually uh, recommended with the lithium ion batteries uh, and again top-up range I would say uh, ideal top-up range would be anywhere between 40 to about 70% uh, I would not uh, charge a device that's a laptop or a mobile if it's charged around say 85 or 90% I won't do that but yeah if it falls down to the range that I'm talking 40 to 70% uh, then it's uh, decent to do a top-up charge also the biggest uh, what do you say health concerns for battery is heat uh, the higher the heat is generated uh, higher the chances of the battery life to be declining and uh, uh, so actually wherever you charge just don't charge in a very hot area and specifically uh, if you're using uh, fast chargers generally we are getting fast chargers with many of the new mobiles but if you have noticed generally with fast chargers the mobiles get pretty hot so don't charge in a very closed room or uh, something like that it uh, actually aggravates and in fact I would say if you're not in a uh, hurry I would say just uh, try to avoid fast charges because one interesting thing that I've noticed is that and I've tested this on multiple devices not just with one brand or something like that uh, with a fast charger yes the advantage is that it charges very quickly uh, within an hour just over an hour you can get almost uh, full charge that's great uh, but what I have noticed is that the same device instead of using the supplied fast charger if i just use a normal charger not a very fast charger like a 1.5 amp charger yes it will definitely take a lot more time to charge but uh, the battery life that i got uh, while doing that 
was uh, actually uh, the phone da did last uh, uh, quite uh, longer for example almost 20 percent more battery life i was getting uh, using that so if you are a person uh, who charges the phone overnight uh, for example before you go to sleep many of us just uh, put our phone on charger uh, just avoid using fast charger just use a normal charger like a 1.5 amp or even a 1 amp charger uh, that way uh, you will get better battery life and also uh, while using a uh, what do you say 1.5 or a one uh, normal charger the phone does not heat up that much but again yes if you're in a hurry it's uh, perfectly fine to use the quick chargers that are supplied the only exception that i've seen is this uh, new walk charger by oneplus uh, sorry by uh, oppo that is also used on the oneplus they call it the dash charger that is the only charger that i've noticed that's a fast charger when you use it uh, the phone does not heat up but with other even with qualcomm 2 and qualcomm 3 uh, the if you use those uh, fast charger the phone tends to heat up uh, pretty uh, quickly also another thing that most of us don't notice is that always try to use the supplied charging cable that is supplied with your charger uh, because uh, I have d done a lot of mix and matching and I've noticed that if you use low quality what do you say uh, charging cables uh, it does take quite a bit uh, more time to charge the device generally uh, with a genuine charger you'll notice that if you pick up the charging cable uh, for example Qualcomm 2 or Qualcomm 3 certified uh, chargers cable they are uh, having a lot thicker uh, cable, uh, gauge so it's always advisable to use the supplied charging cable because with uh, some of the cheap Chinese cables that I've noticed, the charging rate was simply, though the charger was the same, it did take uh, quite a bit uh, longer to charge the device. Also, one big uh, myth uh, that I uh, do get this question a lot is that these days many of the smartphones actually come with sealed battery. That is, the battery is not user replaceable. Uh, but the fact is that, uh, yes, you cannot uh, actually uh, replace the battery uh, yourself uh, without tearing open the phone and voiding the warranty. But uh, most of the service centers can easily uh, replace the battery. Even this is valid for uh, iPhones. So don't think that if your phone is having a sealed battery the battery cannot be replaced it can be replaced by the service center apart from some very specific phones some of the xperia waterproof models uh, uh, i heard that uh, in those uh, the battery could not be replaced but apart from that most of the other phones the battery could be replaced by the service center and uh, generally uh, with every smartphone on every device even a laptop the battery will degrade as you use it that is how batteries are uh, every time you put in a charge or discharge it there is, this is known as a cycle uh, so it discharges generally with smartphones these manufacturers sadly do not uh, actually tell us uh, what is the lifeline or the charge cycle generally for uh, high-end laptops for example the macbook pro or even the surface pro etc uh, these manufacturers do uh, less the charge cycle that's about a thousand charge cycle but uh, sadly for uh, smartphones these manufacturers are not giving us the uh, specified charge cycles uh, but uh, from rumors again i'm quoting this is rumors it's generally around 500 charge cycles so with typical days uh, usage of the regular usage if you could take good care of your uh, phone don't discharge it completely uh, to uh, less than uh, five percent every day it should uh, theoretically and if you take good care don't allow it to heat up that much a typical battery should last anywhere between two and a half to three years before showing significant degradation every battery will degrade over time that is the amount of charge it can hold but uh, if you take care it should easily last for about two and a half to three years also this is one more tip and this is might not be applicable directly to smartphones uh, but uh, this is applicable if you have a, a laptop and uh, personally guys i have uh, actually destroyed one of my laptops because i didn't follow this step this is about 14 years ago i had a dell uh, latitude laptop pretty expensive at that time and uh, i almost destroyed uh, its battery uh, because uh, laptops were new uh, during that time and i used to just casually use it and i used to just charge it uh, while using it it on the bed and sometimes i used to just charge it while it was sitting on the bed and even uh, sitting on a pillow the thing is that with laptops and stuff if you notice they generally dissipate the heat from the bottom and when you place it on a bed or if you place it on a pillow or something you are actually blocking that so the heat builds up and as i've told you uh, earlier heat is the biggest enemy for batteries and in fact uh, that uh, laptop if i recall the battery degraded the uh, charge it could hold degraded within four months 
and at that time the batteries for laptops were very expensive i think so the replacement was 10000 rupees at that time so again if you have a laptop or something uh, like that don't charge it on the bed or specifically on pillows where you are blocking these laptops everything for example macbook pro or whatever if you notice just uh, when it's charging or something just uh, uh, touch the back portion they get pretty hot that's how they uh, dissipate the heat so bad idea to put it on a pillow or uh, what do you say bed and in fact i would say even with the smartphones that have metallic back when you charge them specifically with quick charge you'll notice that they get pretty uh, warm at the back uh, that's how they actually dissipate the heat so it's a bad idea to put it on a surface like a bed or on a blanket or something that will uh, not allow it to dissipate the heat so if you follow these uh, tips i would say you should get good battery life and certainly if you get a new smartphone you don't have to charge it for 10 hours uh, initially before uh, actually using the device and if you actually uh, have a laptop or a, a windows laptop or even a mac uh, book or whatever you can actually gauge the amount of uh, charge cycles that you have for example uh, on windows i use this uh, free software on my surface pro 4 that is known as battery bar and uh, it just uh, sits on the system tray and you can actually uh, when it's installed you can click on it and you can actually know in the percentage how much is your battery wear and we have similar uh, applications even for mac so if you are specifically buying a second hand laptop or even a macbook uh, or whatever it's a good idea to actually check uh, how much is the battery wear uh, because many people don't look at that that's a good idea to look at it because with some of the laptops specifically if i recall the macbook pro etc the battery replacements are still very expensive so i hope uh, this uh, video makes sense and it is uh, helpful again if you found this video helpful i'll appreciate if you can uh, hit the uh, subscribe button if you aren't subscribed and if you like this video hit that like button again thanks uh, for watching this video guys uh, again i hope to see you very soon thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video